about Norwex. So Norwex is a company that was founded in Norway and the name Norwex stands for Norwegian Experience Smushed Together. So I think a lot of us can agree or know that Norway is a company that is really a leader in terms of sustainable sustainability, um, eco-friendly uh, innovations. And so um, they are the ones that invented um, these microfiber cloths. And so the reason that I'm here today, if you asked me a while ago, if I was gonna be selling green cleaning products, I would absolutely say no, <laughs> because I am not a person who loves cleaning. Uh, this, I am a pharmacist by trade and I still am a pharmacist. Um, and this is nothing that I ever envisioned myself doing. However, um, back in September, I was invited to a Facebook party by a friend and I was already sort of buying organic food for my family, eating a little cleaner, trying to buy non-toxic products for the house or recycled things. Um, but I hadn't really gone all in and was still using a lot of single use items and hadn't found products that I was really in love with. Um, but a friend invited me to the party and honestly, I wasn't that interested. I thought, well, you know, um, I guess I'll go just to be polite. I'll just accept the invitation and maybe I'll watch something, but I probably, I don't really want to spend any money. Um, so I probably won't do much with it, but you know, I'll be polite, I'll join her party. And so that was that. And I didn't even request my samples till halfway through the party because I wasn't even reading the posts. And I got them, I think, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday and the party ended Friday. And so I got my Enviro cloth and window cloth sample and thought, okay, well, I'll give it a go and see what I can clean with it. And I started cleaning my cabinets, my countertops, then my windows, my mirrors, my bathroom vanity, and I just couldn't stop. I was having, I cleaned for probably two hours and I don't like cleaning. <laughs> and I just couldn't stop. And I, I was like, these are amazing cloths. Let me go in and check out some more of these posts. I'd only watched about maybe two of the videos from the party at that point. And so I went and it was the Thursday night before the party ended on Friday and I started binge watching all of the posts and videos. I watched every single one, stayed up past midnight and had a wish list a mile long at that point and thought, how am I gonna buy all this and stay married? Because my husband is gonna think I'm nuts. <laughs> and so I decided at that point I was gonna buy the Safe Haven 5 set and the netted dish claws and see, you know, from there I decided to host a party because I thought I need all of this and I want as much as I can get it for free. So let me host a party. So a month later, I hosted my first party and I earned well over $500 of free product. It was so worth doing, it was fun to do, and I shared it with a bunch of my close friends and family and got them sort of starting to love Norwex as well. Um, and then a month and a half, I signed up to be a consultant because at that point, I was selling it to everybody anyway. I loved sharing it with people and I thought, well, might as well try it, why not? What can, what can it hurt? So here I am sharing it with you today. Um, so I just wanna tell you what makes Norwex different. What is, what is it all about? So Norwex is the ability to clean 90% of your house with water and microfiber alone. And the way that they clean is mechanically. So there are actually three types of cleaning, which I never knew. There's thermal cleaning, which uses heat, like in an autoclave or steam cleaning, and that sanitizes surfaces, but it's not really practical for the majority of our household. Then the second way is through chemical cleaning, and that is using like spray cleaners or sanitizing wipes to basically lay down a toxic residue to kill what's on the surface. And the third way is mechanical cleaning, and that is coming along and removing what is on your surface. And that is what Norwex microfiber and water does. And so the best analogy is if you think of, say, a weed in your front yard. If you have a weed and you go and get your Roundup or other toxic chemical in your garage and you spray it, eventually over time it'll sort of wither and die and you're left with this dead withered weed in your front yard, right? Or you can get your magical weed collector, you can pluck the weed out of your yard and it's gone, you're left with nothing that is toxic, no residues, and you don't have anything, like just a clean surface, a clean slate. And that is what Norwex Microfiber provides for you. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is our EnviroCloth. That is how the company got started. And this is its sort of flagship um, microfiber cloth. And what makes this different, you may have owned microfiber in the past. I actually had a few microfiber cloths in the past. And 
I wasn't really that into them. I thought they were okay. Um, I didn't really know what to do with them. I have them in my laundry room collecting dust at this point because they just weren't that great. Um, so three things set Norwex's microfiber apart and that it helps it in terms of the quality, um, how effectively it cleans and the durability and longevity of your claws. So the first thing is that the size of the fiber. So to be considered microfiber, the fibers themselves need to be one sixth the size of a human hair. So take a piece of hair, divide it into six, and that's your standard microfiber, which is pretty small. Norwex's microfiber is one two hundredth the size of a human hair, which is micro, micro, micro small. It is so tiny and that is how it's able to sweep into these tiny crevices of surfaces and collect little micro particles like bacteria um, and fungus and mildew from your surfaces. If you have a piece of wood, like a table, um, those little tiny grooves, it's able to get in there. And secondly, um, the second thing that sets it apart is the density of the weave. So how densely these claws are woven. So if you unravel this one Enviro cloth, you can actually, it is 1800 miles of microfiber in this one cloth. It'll stretch from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico, which is crazy and no other cloth is like that on the market. And because it's so densely woven and the fibers are so tiny, that is how it's able to pick up 90, 99% of bacteria from surfaces. And that's an independent studies um, in a lab where they tested the Enviro cloth, window cloth, body cloths, mop pads, um, so it's really just amazing that it's able to pick up bacteria from your surfaces and that's how it's able to remove wicket into that cloth and you're left with a clean surface. And the third thing that sets Norwex's microfiber apart is the backlog technology. And that is the micro silver that's embedded in the claws. Now, why would we want silver in a cloth? Does anybody have a stinky dish towel or a sour hand towel? Um, what is that disgusting smell? It's bacteria and mildew multiplying in your cloth, which is so gross. So what these allow you is that the silver is embedded in the fibers. So it's not a coating um, on the fibers, but it's actually put into the fibers in a liquid state and bonded to them. So the silver is a natural antibacterial, antifungal agent. And so after we use a cloth, we clean the surface, we're gonna run it under warm or hot water in your sink, rub off all that we can from the surface. And then anything that happens to be left in the cloth, that silver is gonna to go to work. And as the cloth hangs to dry, it inhibits the growth of that and it actually declines and the cloth basically self purifies within 24 hours. Over time, eventually it'll accumulate and you might have to launder it in a couple weeks, but you can use the cloth again and again and again without worrying about recontaminating your surfaces and without getting that nasty odor from the bacteria, mold, and fungus. So that is what sets this apart. So I am going to demonstrate for you how you can clean something as disgusting as raw chicken from a surface with this cloth and water alone. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this with the Norwex cutting board. Um, I see Lana's watching, Marietta's watching, my mom is watching. Hi guys, I'm so glad you're joining me. So here is my raw chicken on my cutting board. And I'm just gonna coat the surface of this board with this chicken. There's little things nastier than raw chicken on a surface, right? So it's a good example of what Norx's power is to clean surfaces. Make sure I get a nice coating on there. All right. Let's put that back in. All right. So this is a protein swab. And these are what uh, sanitizing or sanitation companies come and they um, evaluate the sanitation of restaurants. And so they do these protein swabs on surfaces and if they're able to detect protein residue left on the surface, it means there's also bacteria on that surface. So if it's a litmus test for basically um, a restaurant's cleaning procedures and that's how they get their gratings. And so this is what I'm gonna use to show uh, what is on our surface. Okay, so I'm gonna take the swab, swab the surface here. Okay, 
sure we picked up some of that chicken. So it starts out green, which means there's nothing detected at first. And then as it finds it in the swab, A minute to pick it off of the surface. It starts turning grayer, so you'll see this little color coding. It's green down to gray, and then it starts turning light purple and then dark purple. It's starting to get kind of gray. I'm gonna let that sit there and think for a second, okay? We'll make sure we got enough chicken on here. Here it's starting to turn gray there and the, the tip of the swab is turning purple. So I think in just a minute you'll see that it turns purple. Now I'm going to go with, okay, let's make sure we got enough chicken on there so you can see it. So you can see it's starting to turn kind of grayish in color. So you'll see it purple in a minute. So now I'm going to take my microfiber cloth, the Enviro cloth. I'm gonna clean the surface. With this cloth, clean all of that chicken off of there. All right. I'm gonna leave the raw chicken side face up so we remember which side that is, okay? I'm gonna use another swab. Just swab the surface to see if there's anything left on our surface. You see it's bright green, which means it hasn't detected anything at all. If you compare it with the other one, it's starting to turn more purple. So that's the difference. You can see this one is purple from detecting the protein and bacteria, and this one's green, okay? Now, let's use this cloth and see if we can recontaminate our surface with it. Right, so let's wipe it back on the cutting board, the raw chicken. Let's see if it recontaminates our surface. All right, there it is. There's our green swab. Swab it. Let's see if we're gonna pick up anything off of that surface. Sorry, I'm just reading Marietta's question. So Marietta asks if, sorry, I did not mention, thank you for correcting me. So this is a damp Enviro cloth. So you do clean with water. So you always wet your Enviro cloth to clean. And I forgot to mention that. So thank you Marietta for pointing that out. So with the Enviro cloth, you always wanna make sure you wet it. And then we usually fold it into four so that you have eight cleaning surfaces. This is still the raw chicken side. And so you have four on one side, four on another, and you use it flat like this um, to make sure it has enough contact with your surface to pick all of that bacteria up. But yes, this is a damp Enviro cloth, and that's how it, so you're using the microfiber and water to pick up the bacteria, okay? So you can see from the cutting board that I just swabbed, had re-swabbed, see it's still green compared to the other one, which is turning more and more purple. There you go. And now I'm going to swab the actual cloth. So this is still the raw chicken side. So here I'm swabbing the cloth. And this will show you that the bacteria and things you picked up is actually just whipped into the cloth and it's not sitting on the surface, okay? So I gave it a good go. Spin on the solution. 
and that's still completely bright green. Okay. So this, seeing this with the raw chicken is what convinced me that I could clean my toilets with this cloth. I had seen consultants do it and I was like, that is disgusting. I will never clean my toilets with cloth. Everything else in my house, sure. But knowing that you can clean your toilet and you know you have eight surfaces, so you can do it. You will not recontaminate anything that you're cleaning afterwards, like sanitizing wipes. They clean stuff and then the next surface you touch, it brings all the stuff you just got off the last surface and puts it on your new surface. Um, Norex's claws don't do that and it doesn't remain on the surface either. So of course after I clean something really dirty like raw chicken or a toilet, I'm going to run my cloth under really hot or warm water, get off all that I can and then as I hang it up, as it's drying, it will self purify whatever is remaining in that cloth will be killed and then I'll usually do um, a load of laundry um, if I'm going to clean something that dirty. I have a color coded kind of system in the house and I have a gray and biro cloth for toilets. <laughs> so that's how I do it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you, so I'm demoing our Safe Haven 5 set. So the first thing that you get in the set is the Enviro cloth. The second thing that you get in the set is the window cloth. And this is like the Enviro cloth's best friend. Okay, they work in tandem. And these are the two things you would have gotten in your samples that I sent out in the mail if you got samples. And so the Enviro cloth is what picks up all the dirt, debris, grime, and does all the hard work, right? And you're using it wet. The, the window cloth you generally use dry, and that is what's going to polish everything into your streak-free, gleamy, brilliant shine. And I'm going to show you how they work together with some butter. So I'm going to grab the butter. So butter is... Can you imagine getting butter on your windows from your kids' hands or like a sticky dog nose prints on your windows? Um, my husband's favorite party trick since I started uh, using Norwex is when people come over, he wants me to rub butter on our stainless steel refrigerator because that previously would have been like our worst nightmare because how do you even get that off? And then you get it off and it's all streaky and disgusting, right? Well, no more. <laughs> it's so easy to clean off. So here is a mirror. I'm going to rub butter on this put it in a heart this is valentine's day because you're falling in love with norwex right so here's our butter smeared around your kids just got into a mess or your pet all right so the enviro cloth comes along and wipes it all off so easily i've tried this with the glass cleaner and paper towels Number one, I'm wasting paper towels. Number two, I'm left with a film, just an oily film. It just won't come off. So you take the window cloth. Again, we're using flat surface to polish everything and to clean it. And here is my mirror and it's completely clean. There's literally nothing left of it. It's streak free gleaming. So the window cloth is amazing. If you don't own anything else, you need these two cloths. They can do wonders all around your house. I clean my glass uh, light fixtures that hang above my island. Those and the inside of my car windshield and my stainless steel, I could never get them as shiny and as nice as I want to, lint-free, streak-free, and now they're perfect and beautiful. So those are some of my favorite ways to use it. So the third thing that you get in the Safe Haven 5 set is the dusting mitt. So does anybody like dusting? I don't. I don't think anybody does. Nobody likes dusting. Why? Because everything just settles back down to the surface that you just dusted. It is the most unsatisfying <laughs> way to clean because it just seems like it never ends, right? And when you use dusting sprays, they leave a residue that actually attracts uh, dirt and debris back onto the surface faster. So Norex's dusting mitt that you get in the kit works off static electricity. And the best way to get it the most active is, you know, to rub it up against itself, or you can rub it on jeans, you can pop it in your uh, dryer to increase the static. Or, if you're like me, I went ahead and bought a second mitt, and I rub them against each other because this is the most awesome way to dust. <laughs> so, but I'm only going to demonstrate with one because that's what we have in the set. 
but the second mint is great because as you're grabbing things to go dust, you're dusting them in your hand and it goes so fast. And once you're done with one side, you can flip it over and you can dust on the other side. So let me show you how it is able to pick up flour from a surface. That's the best way to demonstrate dust. So my sister has kind of dark countertops, so hopefully you can see this, but I'm gonna sprinkle all this flour here. Move it around like my super dusty furniture at home that I used to have. All right, we're gonna make sure this is nice and active and it just attracts particles into the mitt. All right, and all of these cloths that I've shown you all have that backlog technology. The dusting mitt, the window cloth, the embroidery cloth all have the backlog. And so that you can use them again and again before you have to worry about cleaning them. So here is all the flour trapped in the cloth. And that would just be like your dust. And then to clean it, you just, once it's accumulated a lot, you can just dust it off into your trash can. I have Norx's rubber brush, which scrapes everything into the trash can. Um, or like I take my mitts and sometimes clap them outside to get them clean. Um, but you can use them again until you see it starting to get really soiled. And then at that point you might want to launder it, but it's really wonderful, very effective dusting mitt. It makes dusting just super fast and it stays cleaner longer, honestly. So you might be wondering at this point, how do I care for these claws? We have three major don'ts with the claws, and that is do not use bleach because it will degrade the fibers. You don't use laundry, um, sorry, fabric softener or dryer sheets because first of all, they're about the second most toxic thing in people's homes, and people don't know that, but secondly, all, they leave a coating on the claws and that will prevent them from working as well um, and from the silver going to work in the claws, okay? And then third don't is don't wash them with Highland items, so terry, claw, or terry towels and things like that because the little fibers will eventually get embedded within your claws. Again, they won't work as well. But what we really do recommend is to use a eco-friendly, filler-free detergent. And that is the fourth thing that the Safe Haven 5 set comes with. Um, Norx's laundry detergent is free of phthalates, phosphates, sulfates, dyes, fragrances, fillers, optical brighteners, chlorine, everything. And so you can use such a tiny amount and it's very effective because there's nothing excess in it. And so, um, so to wash the claws, you definitely need at least a green eco-friendly um, filler-free detergent because you want to make sure there's nothing like that gunk. So here are examples of your, of your typical detergent. So here is a leading liquid detergent. Here is your leading powdered detergent. And here is Norex's Ultra Power Plus. I have an entire two teaspoons, which is what you would use for an extremely large load in this jar. And it looks like just water. You could probably bathe in this. <laughs> um, all it contains is just the biodegradable surfactants in it to clean your clothes. And so your clothes come out smelling really fresh, um, but they don't have any fake fragrance. So Norex says, clean doesn't have a smell, right? So it just smells really fresh. And so it's great for cleaning your cloths because nothing will accumulate on them over time like it would with like the gunk in these other typical detergents. Um, and they will last for a really, really long time. Some consultants have had their cloths for up to 10 years um, and they're still going strong. So that is what's really great about this. And secondly, it won't leave that on your clothes. And so things like that gunk, you don't want them sitting on your skin 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because your skin is absorbing all of that and it's increasing your chemical body burden. So we wanna make sure that we're leaving our clothes just clean and fresh um, with nothing excess in them. Now I use about a teaspoon for a typical load of laundry, a very like a medium load in a high efficiency washer. And if I was, washing a bunch of stinky gym clothes or a really low, large load of laundry, I would use up to two, two teaspoons. And so that would give you um, anywhere between 100 to 200 loads per bag. So it lasts a super long time. Like Nor all of Norix's things, it's an investment up front, but it saves you money in the long run. It lasts for forever. Um, and if you have really soft water, you can use as little as half a teaspoon. If you have a water softener system, um, it really doesn't take much. Okay, so that is the awesome laundry detergent. I also use a teaspoon and a bottle, a spray bottle, eight ounce spray bottle, and make an all-purpose cleaning solution and spot cleaner with it. I've cleaned 
carpets and stains around the house. I sometimes pre-treat my clothes with it before putting them in the wash. And I've used it even for my daughter's car seat. She gets car sick a lot. And you can strip down all the padding, but you can't remove the car seat straps. And they're so gross and smelly after she gets sick. And I can spray them down and then scrub them with an EnviroCloth and it's gone. So this is just a really amazing product and it can be used on all types of fabrics, wool, silk, everything. And you can even um, put it in a basin and hand wash items with it. So everything it's useful for. All right, and then let's see, I have another question. <laughs> Remind me, I love to give of those. Okay, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, so the last item I wanna talk about is our cleaning paste. And this is the fifth item that comes with the Safe Haven 5 set. And this is what they call elbow grease in a jar. And basically you're cleaning 90% of your home with water and microfiber, but there are some jobs that you just need a little bit of extra scrubbing action. And this paste is it. So it is made out of marble flour and natural soap and coconut oil. It's extremely safe, non-toxic, and it will clean a miraculous number of things. So you can see here, it comes as kind of like a chalk, basically. And you, it'll last most people several years because you're not using it all that often. It's just for your really hard jobs, like soap scum on your glass shower doors, tile grout, um, you can clean off rust from bikes and tricycles. You can clean the inside of your oven with it or your glass stove tops. Everybody raves that this is the best cleaner for glass stove tops. It gets everything out. Um, and you can use it with your EnviroCloth or one of our Spiri sponges or Spirinets. Um, the bottom of stainless steel pots. So it's really great. So I'm going to demonstrate how it removes the dreaded Sharpie from a tile. I've gotten Sharpie on... I actually myself got Sharpie on my dining room table on accident and bled through a sheet of paper. My kids didn't even do it. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute so you know I'm not trying to trick you. <laughs> um, and it took it right out. I had somehow I got nail polish on my kitchen cabinet. I guess my toes are drying. I don't even know. I had pink nail polish on my bottom kitchen cabinet for two years. I couldn't use acetone or nail polish remover to take it off because it would ruin my cabinet finish. And I used my EnviroCloth and cleaning paste and got it off, just scrubbed a little bit and came off. It was so wonderful. So all you have to do, I'm gonna show you it's dry. Should be dry. It won't wipe off with the window cloth. All right. Is you take your damp EnviroCloth and this is how it becomes a paste. So it's a powder a chalky powder, and then you rub your reviver cloth in the paste just a little bit. And that comes right off. And then you can use the other side to polish off any residue. Okay. No permanent marker left. And again, like I said, I use this for soap scum. A lot of people can use it on their kids, like the white part, the right rubber part of the soles of shoes. They come out brilliant white again. Um, there's so many uses for this. Google it, Pinterest it. You'll see like 2,000 before and afters with the cleaning and paste and what it can do. Um, it's great for stainless steel sinks for scouring them. So endless amount of uses. So this is your last product that's going to get those really hard jobs that the microfiber and water just isn't quite enough for. All right. And that is our Safe Haven 5 set. Um, this is what I would really recommend most people start with because you can clean 90% of your home with just these five things in water. Um, it's a great way to start and it's a really good value. And I really encourage you guys, thank you so much for joining me and supporting me in this venture. And I'm going to be posting some pictures coming up of other ways to use all of these products because there's so many different uses. So you'll find out new ways to use the dusting mitt, the cleaning paste, the Enviro cloth and the detergent. And then starting tomorrow, I'm gonna to start posting about some other awesome products that Norex has, like the mop, bathroom, things, um, kitchen, towels and cloths and all of that. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me. And remember, those of you who tuned in live are gonna be entered into a drawing to get $20 credit on your order from me, okay? Let me see if we have any questions. Dust mitt with antique wood furniture, absolutely. You can use the dust mitt on everything. Um, the only thing that Norwex microfiber isn't okay on is anti-glare surfaces. 
Um, so if you have anti-glare coating on any of your electronics or glasses, uh, that's the only thing you can't use the microfiber on. We have a special optic scarf for that that you can, or our um, tech cleaning cloth can. But other than that, um, you can use it on absolutely everything. Um, the microfiber, it doesn't take off anything. Let's see. All right, thank you so much for joining me. All right, bye guys.